It's a nice, beautiful winter morning here at the Salt River, and we're gonna see if we can't convince some fish to bite. Let's get to it. You guys ready for this? <laughs> it's time to get wet and cold. <gasps> All right. Oh, 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 jeez. This has been washed out, guys. It used to not be that deep right there. All right. I probably should have just kept going. Probably wouldn't have been much deeper than that. I know it gets shallower right there. We might just have to suck it up and go. Man, that is cold. Ooh, little tidbits. Ooh, that is cold. Good morning. <laughs> Ooh, it's freezing. Nothing like a nice cold plunge to wake up in the morning. Oh. Yes, it is amazing how much the river changes. This tree right here didn't used to have this mud bar. It's mud, it's not sand. There's so much stuff washing out of the verde that there is a ton of mud and silt all over in places where there didn't used to be. So this spot is completely different than what it used to be. It's way more shallow out here. No structure for the fish to hang out in. Very different. Across the river, got my manly bits wet in the freezing cold winter water. It was all for nothing. But I'm awake now, so forget. <laughs> now I gotta go cross it again to get to the other side to move to another spot because this one didn't pan out. Time to go get cold. So I've been in the water up to my waist for the last 30 minutes or so, and I'm starting to lose feeling to everything. So I gotta get out of the water, try to warm up. Don't wanna get hypothermia. <laughs> Spending way too much time in the water for no fish. Back in the water we go. Gotta get a spot where we can catch some fish today. Oh, that was a fish. Oh no, I missed him. Oh, you guys on the trout swim bait. He hit it. He did good. <laughs> Can't believe I missed him. Oh, that makes me so mad. There's a the fish. Got him. <laughs> you guys, we finally got one today. We've been through a lot of stuff to get to this fish right here. And look what he ate. He ate the trout swim bait. <laughs> that tells you that they do feed on the trout that they let go in here, and this is a little guy. So the big ones for sure chomping down those trout. Oh, that felt so good to feel that thump with this thing. Oh, there's fish. All right. Cool beans. Oh, he's not a bad one either. That one was on the Cinco, guys. Look at that little cutie. That one on a green pumpkin black flake Cinco. Just letting it float around in that pool, giving it a twitch every now and again. Got that nice little eddy that's created over there. What's awesome about braid is that even though my line is slack, I can still feel the, the bite. I felt that one pretty good. And we had quite a bit of slack in the line. I thought my line was down here and it was actually 10 or 15 feet up higher. I'm keeping my rod tip up because I don't want my line to get in this current and get swept away. I want to keep it so that my bait gets to stay without a whole lot of play with my line pulling it. Oh, there's another one. All right. Feels like a little bit better one. Come here, buddy. Heck yeah. That's a good fish. <laughs> this one easily could have eaten that uh, trout swim bait. Loving it. Thanks, buddy. Give us a dance. Give us a dance. 
Nope, he went straight back down. <laughs> so I've been standing here in the water for long enough now to where I'm starting to lose the feeling in my legs and I can hardly wiggle my toes. So I'm gonna try and get over to this point over here so I can still fish this pocket. I think there's more fish to be caught. The top half of my body's super warm. It's gorgeous, beautiful. My legs, freezing. Oh, I'm already slipping and falling. I can't feel my feet. Yeah, I'm sinking a foot and a half down into that nasty mud. There we go. Oh, this ought to be a little more comfortable. And I think I'll be able to, to work this pocket better anyways. That was a fish. Doesn't still have it though, dang it. That was a solid hit for that one. Oh yeah, I can see the, the silt that he stirred up by chasing it. Just can't believe he didn't get it. Didn't get it. Got him at, oh no! No, he got off! Oh, I set that good too. I don't know why he didn't get hooked. I felt weight even after, but that hook just didn't penetrate. That sucks. That was a good fish. Oh, yeah, he still has it. All right. Cool. Dang, he grabbed that and swam straight out into the current. Maybe these guys are hanging out in the current more than we realize. That's a good one. Man, I haven't had a take like that in the wintertime for a long time. Usually it's a blump and they hold it, but he took off with it real fast. It's a decent little fish too. Thanks, bud. Off he goes. If you would like to do crazy stuff like this with me, I do offer guided fishing trips out here just like this. It's a ton of fun just to hang out and get out and live. If you'd like a chance to do that with me, link is in the description below. Sorry guys, camera was off, but I just hooked into a good one. Let's uh, see how this plays out because that's a, that's a heavy fish right there. I haven't felt one this nice out of the river in a while. <laughs> Where are you, buddy? How big are you? Oh, he's not huge, but oh, he's he's getting up there close to three. Must have been the current. Also, this is a medium light rod, so things feel a lot bigger on it, but it's a nice fish. It is a nice fish. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo, that's a nice winter bass out of here guys that is a solid solid fish for the salt river right there all of that hiking wading freezing my butt off sometimes you just gotta do it to get fish like these bye bye purdy <laughs> darn wind's making it tough to fish this thing the way i need to oh there's a bite oh pulled it out of his mouth dang it that's what happened guys, when he bit it, it buried the hook back into the bait and that's why we missed that one. There's a the fish. No, what the crap? Did he snap us? Oh, my leader snapped, dang it. Dang it, dang it. And I'm out in the middle of nowhere with no bank, so I'm gonna have to retie a leader in the middle of the freaking river. <laughs> Oh well, I can do it. Let's do it. Set this puppy in here. There's fish. Got him. Another good one, guys. Another good one. That gum. It's a good spot over here. All right. Man, I love this. Glad I was able to get here. All right. Man, that's a good school over there. These are quality fish for the river. Yeah, that's another pound and a half to two right there. Oh, and that's the same one, guys. Look, <laughs> I caught my other line. I have never had that happen before. He snapped me off and I caught my old line. Wow. Well, I got my lure back and my hook and my leader. <laughs> Thanks for biting a second time, bud. Awesome. See you later. <laughs> it's 
It's always nice when you get your gear back. Oh, jeez. This mud is just nasty. <laughs> How deep it is outside now. Right there. I'm getting stuck. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Whew. That was a pain in the butt. Oh, there's one right there. Sweet. Yeah, I did something to my reel. It feels funny. Whew. Just a little guy right here. You guys, this is the first time I've ever been to this spot on foot, and I don't think I will ever come back. I had to wade through some nasty mud to get here. If I want to fish this spot, I'll just have to come on my kayak. It was pretty retarded. But we caught one. It was worth it. See you, dude. You now what the crap is up with my reel? Holy crap, I have covered a lot of ground, frozen my butt off, sunk about three feet in the mud, to get to certain spots we have worked hard last time i fished this section i was actually in my kayak a lot easier had a lot of success if you want to check that video out you can do so right here and as always guys remember to get out and live peace